odds makers have set the season win projected total for the Washington Redskins at seven and a half wins this regular season. Do you play over or under? We give you the winner next. From our rock star studio, this is Tony T here from Gamblers Television, covering the NFL Vegas style all season long. The Washington Redskins finished the 2007 regular season with a 9-7 record and made the playoffs. Now, the Redskins drew the Seattle Seahawks in the wildcard playoffs and lost on the road 35-14. Joe Gibbs retired from coaching, and Joe Gibbs Racing is dominating NASCAR this season. Former Seattle Seahawks quarterback Jim Zorn takes over duties of head coach in 2008. Now, starring quarterback Jason Campbell got injured in Week 14, and backup Todd Collins led the team to four straight victories to earn a playoff berth. Odds makers have set the Washington Redskins projected win total for the 2008 regular season at seven and a half wins. Let's take a look at their schedule. The Redskins play in the NFC East, and that means two games with the Cowboys, Eagles, and Giants. The NFC East plays the NFC West and AFC North this season, and the toughest games are at Seattle and Cincinnati. They host Pittsburgh on November 3rd. As a third place team in the NFC East last season, that means two games against the other third place teams from the NFC. They're on the road at Detroit, and they host New Orleans. Take a look at their offense. Now, Jason Campbell is not a very consistent quarterback and made mistakes in crucial points in games last season. The Redskins were a losing club in 2007 with Campbell at the helm, producing a 5-7 and seven record before an injury ended his season. Campbell must improve on his decision-making as he threw for 12 TDs and 11 interceptions in 2007. The Redskins pick up two good receivers in the draft in Devin Thomas and Malcolm Kelly. Kelly at 6'4 gives Campbell a big target and someone who can run after the catch. Antoine Randall is coming off a career year of 51 catches last season. Santana Moss gives Campbell another wide receiving threat, and Clinton Portis in the backfield gives a third-year quarterback many weapons. Take a look at their defense. London Fletcher is entering this season, playing in 119 consecutive starts, and has led the team he has played on in tackles over his last nine seasons. Now, starters Rocky McIntosh and Marcus Washington are both coming off injuries last season. Washington missed five games last season, and McIntosh is coming off major knee surgery. Now, a big trade prior to train cap saw the revival of Jason Taylor to the Redskins from Miami. Now, the Redskins were third in the league against the run last season, and Washington only gave up 5.8 yards per attempt last year as their secondary did a good job of limiting big plays in the passing game in 2007. And now, to my selection. Joe Gibbs brought stability to an unstable franchise. With his departure brought questionable decisions by owner Dan Snyder, who fired offensive coordinator Al Saunders and defensive coordinator Greg Williams. Now, if they're really high on Jim Zorn, why didn't they appoint him head coach in the first place instead of sign him initially as their offensive coordinator? Now, Dallas, New York Giants, and Philadelphia, they're all breathing a sigh of relief. Now, Jason Campbell is now in his third offensive system in four years in the league. Now, if you go back to his college days, He's had to learn seven different offenses in eight years when you add up his days at Auburn in the mix. Campbell's led the team to four straight losses before getting injured in their 16-10 win against the struggling Bears. Four of his five victories as a Skins quarterback last season came against Arizona, the Jets, Detroit, and Miami. Play the Washington Redskins under seven and a half wins for the 2008 regular season. From a rock star studio, this is Tony T reminding you to visit and bookmark my television show page at www.gamblerstelevision.com for continuous point spread coverage from the NFL. Gamblers Television. Get addicted.